Yo, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. Welcome to everybody that is new to the channel. We are currently approaching 13,000 subscribers, so I am really hyped, guys. Thanks a lot for all the awesome support until now. Today, I will show you a new guide for Minecraft Dungeons. I will show you the best weapon, or the best weapons out there, because it all really depends on the enchants and also where you want to use it for. I have to say, while recording this video, I decided to say farewell to my pickaxe. Finally, I found the bindings with sick rolls so I can rock this one from now on. So right now, I'll show you the best weapon to deal with big packs of mobs without a problem and also taking down bosses in only seconds. And guys, don't forget that I'm recording this one on the highest apocalypse difficulty. So this is level 6, so guys, let's get right into it. All right, so here we are at the home base. I still have a mage rope at the moment. And guys, this is because um, I really like to have my cooldown reduction for those speedruns. Some of you guys say you should have the Reginate Armor, and I agree with that. The Reginate Armor is awesome to have to deal tons and tons of damage, but at the same time, you will be a lot slower with speedruns. And I have to be honest, I already have so much base damage on my weapons that I can almost one-shot every single enemy. So getting even more damage is overkill and i'll show you guys why so i have found this mage rope or this battle rope a couple days ago and this one has very nice health 25 percent artifact cooldown reduction and then 30 percent melee damage and also guys look at my current enchants i have two times cooldown reduction so this decreases my artifacts cooldown a lot and then also the cowardice so this will give me another 40% increased damage and in total this means that I have 70% increased melee damage so with your Reginate armor guys come at me you can also get some nice chance on that one but this combination for me personally is the best to get uh, of course this is not the upgrade uh, which is the splendid rope but the upgrade only grants some extra artifact damage and i am not playing with artifacts that deal damage so it is not much of a difference in comparison with the battle rope Okay, so for this build, guys, if you want to max out your damage, first off, you're going to need two artifacts in order to keep dealing the maximum damage. And for this one, you're going to take the Gong of Weakening, as well as the Death Cap Mushroom. This will increase your attack speed and also increase your attack damage towards enemies by three times, which is insane. So right now, I'm dealing 2,000 damage, something like that. If I use the Gong, it is 8,000. So that is insane. Of course, if I use the Death Cap Mushroom, it goes even faster but right now guys it is time to show those best weapons so i've prepared three of them uh, i was quite lucky with the enchants except for my moon daggers um, instead of this sharpness i would have loved to have some crit damage uh, or crit chance but this one the Sufits do have critical hits, so this is a pretty crazy wrecking machine, as well as the fighter's bindings. Um, I'm calling this one my vacuum machine. This is my Dyson, guys. This destroys big packs of mobs in no time, while you don't have to uh, be afraid of losing lots of HP. Or, well, you will lose a lot of HP, but at the same time, you're gonna keep healing yourself because of the high attack speed. And boom, look at this. It's a shower of lights. And um, you can see that I'm dealing tons and tons of damage. Um, then we have the second one, which is the Soul Fists. Uh, this one has Swirling, Radiance and Critical Hit. Um, the combo takes quite long, so this is why um, your Swirling won't be fantastic. Uh, you could even go for something that will deal more damage on your weapon to maximize it a little bit more. So this is how it looks. Look at that. The attack speed is a little bit slower, but it has tons and tons of crits. And since this is a soul weapon, you also can farm for souls. And if you do that, guys, look at this. Souls critical boost. So if you have both uh, a maximum souls and also uh, the death cap mushroom and the gun active, then oh my, you will melt through those mobs. It is insane. Um, then last but not least, the Moon Daggers. So the enchants on this one are not fantastic. We have Swirling, which is essential. Then also Radiance, optional, but I, I'd say essential if you want to use this one for multiple uh, goals. But then Sharpness. I would like to see another one drop um, with Critical Chance instead of Sharpness. But 33% increased damage while you have a shit ton of attack speed is also pretty crazy. So let me show it right here. 
Look at that. We're dealing 4,600 damage with the Gong active. If it's not active, it is a little bit less, 1,500. But because of the cooldown reduction, we can pretty much keep spamming it. Um, of course, if you have max souls, then you will deal even more damage. However, the soul crit will not work on the soul daggers if you don't have anything to collect souls with. So you're gonna need a bow of lost souls or another soul weapon, doesn't really matter. But with this one, we're gonna first stack our souls all the way to the max, and then afterwards you will be able to uh, profit off this soul critical boost. Um, there are some YouTubers out there and they are just using this weapon without even knowing that this will not work if you don't have souls. So that is, yeah, not very smart, but um, I'll forgive them. All right, so guys, let's check out these weapons on the fields. I'm going to travel to the Cacti Canyons because this is a place where you can find big packs of mobs. Right now, I'm just speed running towards a big pack of mobs. You will find one at the chest right here. Look at that, they're already swarming towards me. But um, I'm going to try to position myself at the center and then you're going to see how crazy this weapon actually is. Here we go, guys. Oh my god. What the hell? This is brutal. Look at that. They were destroyed in only a couple seconds. Of course, you can deal more damage with different weapons, but this is definitely my number one favorite weapon to deal with big packs. And this is all thanks to the gravity enchant. This effect pulls mobs in range towards the weapon's impact point. And since we have such a high attack speed, it's gonna keep procking, just like our swirling uh, enchant as well as the radiance. So you're gonna keep healing yourself because of the high attack speed. The swirling is gonna proc many times and then also the gravity will pull all the enemies nearby. So you're just gonna deal tons of tons of damage. So this is pretty much a delete button for big packs of mobs. Now, I have two more weapons to showcase, the Moon Daggers and also the Soul Fists, but these two are actually way better against boss fights. Um, they don't have the Gravity Enchant, which means the mobs will sometimes get knocked back a little bit. Um, if you can suck them all together, just like the Vacuum Cleaner Fighter's Bindings I have right here, then it will work better, but with these enchants, we're just maximizing our damage output towards bosses. So let's focus for that right now. Okay, so right now we are at the redstone mines and I'm just using my fighter's bindings with uh, the vacuum cleaning effect in order to delete all those mobs to get to the final boss. The redstone monstrosity will be a perfect one to showcase our weapons with the maximum damage. But guys, look at this. It is impossible to kill me with these fighter's bindings. Okay, so right now we're gonna swap our weapons and um, let's start off with the Moon Daggers. They are really nice to have, but if you equip them, definitely make sure you have something that will allow you to harvest souls because with the Moon Dagger itself, you won't be able to do that. All right, so this is the weapon that I'm currently gonna use, the Moon Daggers. Uh, they have the Swirling Enchant Radiance, which is awesome. And then I was hoping for an extra crit chance enchant, but uh, for now we're gonna have to do it with plus 33% increased damage. Here we go, guys. Activating all the abilities, and there we go. Oh, look at that. It is madness. It will simply destroy the boss in a couple seconds. If you have even more crit chance on these moon daggers, it will go even faster. So guys, that is my first recommendation against boss fights. Okay, so right now my second option for killing bosses in no time are the soul fists. I have the perfect enchants of this one, uh, critical hit, radiance and swirling. Alright, so here I am again, back at the redstone mines, and as you can see, I am collecting souls with this weapon. This is the soul fists, and they are really, really fun. Um, I am not a big fan of the delay on every weapon combo, but still, look at that crit damage. It is madness. Imagine this damage in combination with the Gong of Weakening. You will shred through bosses in no time. And look at this pack of mobs as well. With the Gravity Enchant, I will be able to suck them in a little bit faster, but still, this is an awesome one to deal with big packs of mobs. Okay, we just got max souls, so guys, let's get right to the boss. It's very tempting to use this Shadow Brew in order to almost one-shot him, but uh, that's not what I'm gonna do right now. Alright, so let me equip my Gong of Weakening right here, and let's get right to it. Ah! 
activating all my abilities and look at this guys what the hell the boss is going down in only a few seconds i am in love with these bindings these two fists are awesome to have i also recommend you guys to farm for them yourself if you want to do that definitely make sure you check out the video which i linked at the end of this one it will allow you to speed run through soggy cave and every 25 to 30 seconds you will be able to get your hands on an obsidian chest and while many of you guys still think the regenerate armor is still the number one to go for i just want to show you guys how fast i can clear these cows on the mushroom level and i have to be honest i don't even need the gong of weakening to do this it will already go very very quickly so if you want to speed run this level you can just unequip it and go for another cape Okay, so I just farmed the maximum souls. I'm also gonna take this Shadow Brew. I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna last long enough in order to take down the boss. But guys, this is how the Mushroom boss goes down. Look at that! Oh my god, dealing tons and tons of damage with this weapon. As you can see right here, he did not have the time yet to attack me. He's gonna land his first attack right now. But um, it will also be his only attack. Look at that. Ooh! We just got a fireball thrower out of that as well. That is awesome to see. Let's check out the enchants quickly. Wow, that is pretty bad. We got a radiant shot punch and then also rapid fire gravity or tempo theft. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is everything you need to know in order to get your hands on the best weapon. If you want to have just one of them, then I would recommend to go for the fighter's bindings with gravity, swirling and radiance, because this will help you in every single situation. It has tons and tons of damage to deal with those bosses, as well as big packs of mobs, so you won't have a problem at all. If you're just looking for the maximum damage, then you should get your hands on a moon dagger with uh, radiance, swirling, and then extra crit chance. Uh, this extra crit chance I currently have on the soul fists. This is a perfect enchant for it, but um, I still think uh, the moon daggers will be just a little bit better with it. Don't forget to also farm the souls first with your bow if you are using that one, because as you can see, the soul fists can harvest the souls, but the moon daggers cannot. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video, and also subscribe for more content if you're interested in new builds and guides. Now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next one.